Hello! Hello there, everybody. Welcome back for another stream. Uh, yes, I remember the announcement channel. I did do an announcement in there yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, it's in there. In fact, the, the sesh bot actually announces it for me automatically. So, there you go. Welcome in, everybody. Today, we're just going to do another casual sketchbook stream. Uh, didn't really plan this one too well. Been pretty busy this week. But we're going to do another little thing in here. Uh, and if you didn't catch my last stream... This is what we did. We were quite busy last time. It's quite productive. And this is what I did uh, a few days afterwards off stream. I just wanted to play around with um, using the paint as line work, basically. That's what I was doing there. Just as a bit of an experiment. Welcome in, Kriya and Sahil, Moon Bunnies, Leith, Mr. Ramsell. Uh, Mr. Ramsell says, Hi, Muddy, way too late for me, but got a, no a notification you're streaming. You've been great to have in the background on my Inktober journey. Can't wait to have a session with this in the background. Cool, well, I'm glad you could stop by. Maybe you can catch the next one. Thank you very much. Hey, Abby, what's up? Okay, we do have coffee, so that's a good start. Yeah, I had no idea what to draw for this stream. I, like I said, I did not plan this at all. <laughs> well, actually I did, because I've done this, right? I just needed to get something, like a little scribble, just to curb my anxiety of what the hell am I going to do today. So I'm just going to do some headshots, just something easy. Uh, I've got a lot going on at the moment. In the process of uh, working on Summoner Wars things, as I always am, really. Uh, actually, I do have a break sometimes for a couple of weeks here and there. It is morning for me, yes. And I got up pretty early and I was feeling really awake. <laughs> and now I'm feeling really tired. I don't know why. It's like, it's just typical, isn't it? Uh, let's zoom in here. Now, this page is a little awkward because it's on the back. It's it's a little warpy. Well, it's not that warpy, but... I don't know. You can see a little something coming through there, but... We're going to work through that. It doesn't matter. Oh, Sahil. Thanks, man. You're a legend. Thanks for popping in. And thank you for that super chat. Uh, Kriya, yes, get to work. Get to work, Kriya. This is what we should do. We should all get to work. Thought I might try and use my mechanical pencil this time because it seems to go on this paper a little better. <laughs> so how's everyone doing today? Hope you're all doing well. Anything exciting? Any exciting news in your life that you feel like sharing? Are you working on something cool? We're in this together, that's right. We are. Uh, 
Dragonborn says, waiting on my AMC short squeeze play to happen. Oh, I'm not sure what that is. Abby says, working on my Inktober drawings. I'm so behind, can't think of what to draw. Any suggestions? Oh, wow. I think that's, I guess that's what the prompt list is good for. Um, today's prompt is... Is it camping? I think today's prompt is camping. Uh, Kriya, the colorization course I registered for will start soon. It's from Cubit School. Oh, wow. That's really cool. I look forward to seeing how you go with that and what's involved. Uh, no, it seems like a few people are working on Inktober. Leith as well. I did contemplate maybe doing an Inktober today, but... Um, camping, uh, it didn't really spring me to inspiration, so I just thought I'd just do some random stuff in here. Honestly, side profiles are not my strong point, so hopefully this comes out okay. She should, I think her, her eyelashes should go the other way. fond of using this to be honest. Kree says six weeks of learning. I'm very hyped for that. That's really cool. I, I wouldn't mind doing a course like that again. I mean, it feels good to learn things, right? Pencil feels much more comfortable for me. Bunny says, it's kind of funny you drawing side profiles as I'm in the middle of practicing side profiles. Okay, well, maybe don't learn from me because I, I feel like <laughs> they're not my best, my best um, skill. I still find them a bit tricky. It's probably something I should try and uh, get better at. Anyway, I did just sketch this, so I'm not going to abandon it. We're going to get it done. Uh, I was going to do some horns going off the page. My Korea, my weekend hasn't started yet. <laughs> my week, though, my week's been pretty good. I have done a fair bit of work on Summoner Wars, the next faction that I'm working on, which is due 
at the end of this month, so I've got heaps of time to get it finished, I suppose. Which is good. I don't like to rush things. Uh, I do have some exciting news coming up. Some, some exciting news. I can't tell you what it is yet, though. I'm sworn to secrecy. But, 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 I'm not sure you're aware, but if anybody uses Procreate, the 5.2 new update is now available for beta testing. Well, it's you can sign up for beta testing. And I'm really excited to see the new features about, about that update, so stay tuned for that. Get some flowing hair down here. I think that'll do not quite nicely. Let me change it up. I never do like much hair over the face. So let's do that today. Some strands of hair going down there. Yeah, I mean, I think she looks pretty cute. Is her head back far enough? That's one thing that I think I personally <laughs> sometimes get wrong, but also a lot of younger artists do as well, is not making sure the back of the head goes back far enough. Alright. I think I'm just going to start painting. I think that's what we're going to do. Hopefully this comes out quite nice. Just rub that back a little bit. Hey Anna, welcome in. Oh, you signed up for the beta today. Awesome. I hope you get in. And said, pretty sure you say you have something coming up every week. <laughs> Do I? Maybe I do. Well, things things do pop up. I promise you this time, I will have some news for you. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe even later today. We'll see. start with her hair and for this lady I'm thinking blue thinking blue Set up here. Uh, what kind of blue do we want to go with? Sahil says it's 1.45 a.m. in South Africa. Wow. Oh, gosh. Well, I, appreci I appreciate you even more staying here this late. Thank you.
<laughs> Welcome in, Letitia. Welcome in, Lewis. Welcome in, everybody. So the stickers um, that we were doing, they're still in production, unfortunately. So I don't have any, don't have any definitive news about the stickers. I'm still sort of in talks with printers and that sort of thing. It's going to take a little while, I think, but we should get there soon. Playing it really safe with this hair, just kind of blocking in the areas so it's a bit easier to see. says I learned that you can do fishing in New World and now I'm even more curious. <laughs> yeah actually I was doing some fishing yesterday. It's, it's a pretty cool uh, mechanic for the fishing. It's like a little little fishing mini game. And apparently you can make lots of money in fishing so I'm trying to do that. So far I haven't had really any any success making money. <laughs> well, you can't see what I'm mixing here. Let's turn this around. I'm feeling a bit nervous about this one, guys. <laughs> Can you tell? 
I can tell. I'm being really cautious. I think I need to just get over it, huh? Get over it. Just start doing it. So Hill, thank you so much. Wow. I have no idea how many Zars that is. <laughs> oh, you have a question. Uh, please explain your process, your painting process. Keen to learn. Well, the thing is about my painting process is I don't really know what I'm doing either. Not really. I mean, I'm not trained in any of this. I'm just kind of making it up. Um, I suppose with watercolors. And what I'm doing right here is I'm kind of just starting with layers. So I'm playing it really, really safe. And I started with a really light um, pastel blue. And I'm just going to go over the top with now a darker blue. And I'm just going to keep building it up. And then adding uh, different colors and hues for shadows as we go along. So the next step, once I do all this um, darker, more vibrant blue, and I work out kind of the layering of the hair and where the shadows will be, that's when I'm going to go in probably with a more of a purple colour. Um, and yeah, it's just about building the layers up from light to dark. That's the way I work anyway. I don't know if that's correct or not. Um, yeah, and I might just do some a little bit of line work with the paint as well. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to do ink line work for this or... Let's just go back here. So yesterday... Yeah, not yesterday. The first stream we did, I inked over the top after I painted. Uh, these sketches, there's no ink at all, it's just all paint, so I'm not sure which one I should do. I'd be curious to your thoughts if you think I should ink, or if I should just go all paint today. What do you reckon? Um, Sahil, if you have any other questions, please shoot them across, you don't need to super chat. Uh, You've already done that, and I appreciate it. <laughs> so if you've got any other questions, let me know. Of course, if you do want a super chat, by all means, go for it. I'm not going to stop you. Alright. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty rusty with watercolours. I mean, I haven't really painted, apart from this stream and last stream. I haven't really used it for ages, so... I'd like to just keep working at it and learning, teaching myself how to do different things or just get better at it, you know. Uh, Kriya says, I would love to see you doing that without inking. Hmm, okay. Caden says, you should ink this one. Uh, hmm. We might have to do a poll. We'll, do a, we'll probably do a poll. Hey Kriya, do you, are you a moderator in this? You are a moderator in this chat room, aren't you? Of course you are, because you've got that special spanner icon. You could, um, if you feel like it, <laughs> would you like to try and make a poll? Ink or no ink? Or ink or paint lines? Something like that. Oh my god, Gosella, thank you so much. You legend. Sahil says no ink. Hmm. Farugo says colour would be lovely too. Uh, hello from the Ukraine, beautiful painting, thank you so much. 
Oh, you don't know how to do that. Um, in the chat... Actually, where is it? Actually, below... Oh, okay, yeah. You might have to... I don't know how to do it for you. You'd have to probably sign in to, like, the YouTube studio or something. That's okay, I'll do it. We'll create a poll. One moment, my friends. One moment. Ink or just ink or paint. Ink. Ink it full. There you go, poll is coming to you. We'll see what you guys think. said you said earlier that you don't do the paint lines often always best to practice yeah I'm, I'm not against that for sure wow so far it's 50 50 oh my god mcdoyle welcome in no ink hector glad to see a, a live stream always missed it it's been a while welcome in buddy asks this or that chat answers yes <laughs> yes very helpful actually um, ink it full is winning so mm. there you go we'll leave it up for a bit longer see how we go it is changing it's gone down 54% now I'm being way too pedantic with this blue Get it in there, come on. Honestly, I'm, I'm not super happy with how this air is going. Hopefully we can get it looking a bit nicer. Hopefully.
gonna put some um, some more vibrant blue in here so I know exactly where these shadows are going I probably should do her eyebrows too at this point or maybe I'll do it afterwards I might do it afterwards actually because her um, her skin is gonna be a little bit tricky maybe I should have done the skin first oy, oy, oy. Uh, Feruga says hair growing like blue roots hmm. blue green yummy watercolor skills are excellent oh thank you I really don't know what I'm doing, guys. I mean, I kind of do, but I don't. <laughs> so I appreciate it. Uh, Hector says, I watched the three-hour stream. Think you did last. Is that the same sketchbook or a different one? Does watercolour work on Molluskine sketchbooks? I'm afraid the pages are too thin. Uh, okay, first of all, yes, this is exactly the same book as last time. It's literally, like, the next page, so... And does it work on Molluscine? Yes, it does. Let me just see if I can find my book here. Do I have any? Do I have any on hand? Mm. Let's, let's get this one to show you real quick. While this dries, that's probably a good idea. Um, this is my 2019. What have we got in here? What have we got in here? This is, I could, I reckon I could do better than this now, but yeah, so this is, uh, this is watercolour and pen and pencil in a standard Molluskine sketchbook. The pages are, yeah, they're fairly thin, so the only thing you need to keep in mind is just not put too much water in it, because it will warp. And it has warped a little bit, like, you know, it's warped a little bit here and there, but... The book stays, oh yeah, you can kind of see it on there, like it does warp, but it sort of flattens out as well, which is nice. Um, yeah. There's a little scene of Tasmania I did back in 2019. It's my old house. I really, <laughs> really didn't like that one. Really didn't like that one. It's just too bleh. I wish I could do it again, but now I don't live there anymore, so... Anyway, let's move on. Uh, Sahil says, what are you doing, on the, doing with the paintbrush on the right and left sides off screen? That's a good question. Um, I'm just mixing. Okay, so I've got my pot of water here. I've got my palette here. Pretty much all I was doing was mixing in here with a bit of water, putting it down. If I need it to be more vibrant, I'll just grab a tiny bit of water, pop it in there, pop the paint there, and then um, you just kind of get an idea of how much paint is on the brush. The more water you add, the lighter it's going to be. The more paint you wash off, you know, that's that's the way it works. Yeah. It was a very cozy house, I'll have to admit. It was very cottagey. I loved it. All right, let's let's keep going here. Oh, do we have? Oh my God, the poll has changed. 
53% are now saying paint that baby all the way. I did not expect that. <laughs> How many people voted? Let's see if I can see. Now, we've had 32 votes. 32 votes, but we've got 53 viewers. So, there's still time. Okay, guys, get your vote in, because your vote actually changes this entire stream. <laughs> your vote matters. To be honest, I find it much easier to colour with Copic markers, and I really do miss using them. Uh, the, main, the main reason why I stopped using them is because I'm drawing in my sketchbooks these days, and the Copic markers are just going to go straight through, and I like to fill up every page, so it just doesn't work for me anymore. What a mess. I guess it doesn't look too bad. So what are we doing? We're we painting all the way? Oh my god, it's 50-50 again. Guys! <laughs> you guys are as indecisive as me. No, you're not. That's not right. You have made up your mind individually. It's just, um, we need the outcome to sway in one direction. Okay. leave the poll up until 11.10. So there's two minutes, guys. Two minutes to get your votes in, and then we're going to decide what we're doing. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with either way, honestly. I just really hope I don't stuff up this skin tone. It's going to be hard. It's going to be real hard. But I'm gonna try and do this. We're gonna try. Do you like that noise? <laughs> I just realized it's right next to the microphone, me doing that. <laughs> Korea's answer is still yes. Well, that's, that's very helpful, Korea. Thank you very much. Zahil so says watercolors look so much more fantasy like. Yes, I totally agree. They do. Some pre mixed, a pre mixed color here that I've got, which I might use for skin. But I am scared, guys. I am really scared. Skin tone is really hot. What did I do last time? I didn't do a bad job on that one, actually. I hope this doesn't mix with the blue too much. That's my concern right now. I'm just going to keep it really as light as possible so that there is. Um, I should have erased that line. Oh well. So that there's room to move. 
Uh, if you go in too strong too quickly and you make a mistake, you're in big trouble. I don't know if you can even see that, it's so light. Let me zoom in. It's very, very, very light. I just went in really dark there and I didn't particularly mean to. So that's a bit scary. But you know, you gotta, I guess with watercolor, you just have to take some risks. You know, I think I've just get really way too overly cautious when I work in watercolor. I kind of just have to work quick and work with the medium, like blend things in really quickly before it dries. The colors look so different. Oh my goodness, what just happened? Yeah, the colors look so different on camera to how they look in actual real life. It looks really kind of gross actually. Anyway, we're gonna stick with it. <laughs> we're gonna stick with this. I'm not gonna abandon it. I did, we we're four minutes overdue for my poll to be ended, so I'm going to end it now. Ending poll, 51% said we're going to ink it, so we're going to ink. So we're definitely going to do that. Which actually makes my life a little bit easier. To be honest, I can probably take a few more risks in here. Knowing that the lines can kind of save what I'm doing. here guys <laughs> because why the heck not
And I'm going to have the, the horns brown, so we're just going to try and plop this in here. I can be a bit mess messier now that I know that I'm going to be doing the lines because the lines will neaten everything up quite nicely. God, the, okay, the poll has ended and I just popped it up there, and it's 50-50. When I actually mentioned it, ink it full was at like 51%. <laughs> What's the sponge for in the paint palette? That's just to clean your brush with, really. That's all that's for. I just use my fingers, because I'm a grub. <laughs> I'm just going to let that dry for a sec. The more I stare at this side profile, the, the actual, the less I'm liking it. Um, I feel like they should just, her face should just be wider. If that makes sense. Anyway, it is what it is. Got to finish it now. Let's just add in this eyebrow because that's bugging me. It's bugging me that she doesn't have an eyebrow. You know? D. Lee, do you recall what colour you used to paint Dungeon... Oh, Jun... <laughs> said Dungeon. Junigan Castle in your 2019 sketchbook. It's a great colour for castle walls. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to have a look now. I, I may have just mixed the colour. Where is it going? Um... I probably just mixed that colour. Oh, you mean this one? Yeah, you mean this one, of course. Yeah, I would have just mixed it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't really be more helpful than that. It would probably be a mix of... Probably this one, I would say. Maybe some white, maybe. Probably a little bit of black, and maybe a bit of brown. Yeah, I would just experiment there. There you go. Take a screenshot of that colour if you want. Looks like there's some red in there too, actually. Hmm. Uh, the drawing with painted lines, there you go.
you know, we never actually tried inking over the top of lines. I think I'm just going to try that with this guy because I've all but well and truly forgotten that he even existed. Um, I just want to see if the ink goes over the top alright. Not too bad, it doesn't really pull the ink away, which is good, you don't want that. Oh guys, I might get stuck into this guy now. <laughs> He's kind of fun. No worries, Dealey. Dazium says, what is your biggest inspiration when you can't think of anything to draw? Oh, honestly, when I can't think of anything to draw, I kind of go to my safe, safe spaces, <laughs> my comfort zones, which is kind of what I'm drawing here, although side profile is not really my comfort zone. Uh, I would say this kind of thing is, you know, just headshots is my comfort zone. They don't have to be anything in particular. Um, and that just gets me drawing, really. Like, it, does, it doesn't have to be anything. And that's, like, totally okay. So when you don't know what you want to draw, uh, I just draw, like, fantasy portraits. <laughs> um, and the freedom of they can be anything, or they can turn out to be anything, is kind of what I like about them. Yeah, I like the freedom of, like, just working um, without knowing what I'm doing, particularly. I actually find it harder to work when I have a specific idea in mind. It just, it, pro it requires more brain power, you know, you actually have to use your brain, and I don't like using my brain. I do enough of that for client work, so. Anyway, that does actually work. That does work. We'll come back to this guy. He's a pretty cool dude. I like him. Although, now I've done that, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to dry that before we move on. Yes, this thing is kind of gross, but... <laughs> it's very handy. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, is I'm just gonna mute the audio so I can not blow your ears away and we'll be back in just a second there we go magic now I can go back. <laughs> this is warped a little bit. Uh, Denzel says, I really liked your styles of drawing. It's so unique. Thank you very much. So Hill says, does anyone else want to see Abel doing a Bob Ross tutorial? Oh my God, I'd be, I'd be I don't know. I can't use real paint. You know, what does he, what does Bob use? Does he use oils, right? I'd love to try, like, I'd really love to try oils. I've never tried them. Never tried them. Alright, I've dilly-daddled enough with this, and I really wanted to add the purple to the hair, so that is what we're going to do now. Then I'm just going to get to some inking, I think, and move on. move on from this lady because I'm just not I'm not 100% happy with her not 100% I'm just gonna uh, mix some purple in with this blue here that's 
and that blue. And let's give that a go. Yeah, that's alright. Honestly, I feel like I'm just wasting my time here because I'm going to have to go back over this after I ink, I think. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Alright, <laughs> um, Iron Fist says, I'm trying to copy the side profile drawing you're doing right now. Oh dear, well, I hope you draw it better than I do. Uh, Sahil says, does, oh, no, I've already read that comment. Ravel says, that's so pretty, thank you very much. Alright, I'm just going to dry this, so again, we'll be back. Sorry the music's going to cut out, but I'll see you in a second. Unless you actually want to hear the hairdryer. Do you want to hear it? <laughs> JP, thanks for popping in, man. Appreciate it, dude. Speed drying. All right. Turn your volume down, guys. Turn your volume down. Yeah. I, I put too much water here. And it's already, like warping quite dramatically oh I just I don't know there's something there's something wrong about the side profile so I apologize to anybody who is actually drawing along with me and copying this drawing because it's not entirely accurate I guess that's the cool thing about painting is like you can add bits you can change sort of change things as you go, whereas um, just pencil and ink, well, pencil you can change things, but once you start inking, it's like it's hard to add another strand of hair there, you know. But we're gonna do it because we can. Anyway. 
I think we should get some inking, probably. It wasn't that loud? Okay, good. Well, I had no idea. It could have been really, really loud. <laughs> Sahil, mate, thank you so much for joining and sending the super chats. Appreciate that. And we'll see you on the next stream, buddy. Get some sleep. Alright, I'm going to move my water away because it's very dangerous, isn't it? Having it right next to me. As you can tell, just adding the lines just neatens everything up. So I'm actually glad we've decided to do that. Ravel, it's late here so I have to stare at my wet pages instead, hope they get intimidated and dry faster. <laughs> oh, that's fair enough, you can't use a hairdryer, wake everybody up. I think the paper might warp a little bit if it dries too quickly too so I probably probably did that by myself to invest in some brush pens guys really 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 do like just um do I have an example I don't know just something really thin something really thin like that would be great I mean I could just ink it with this I suppose but anyway Welcome in. Ravel says it's fine, it wraps, adds character, 
that an after sketchbook is done, it will flatten in the drawer. Yeah, that's true. It'll flatten out. Uh, Ravel says, been a while since people pronounced my name correctly. I am shook. <laughs> Ravel? Is it, did I do that right? Or is it Ravel? I don't know what I said before. Oh gosh. Iron Fist, what is the playlist? It slaps. Oh god, what was that? My hair dryer. Um, playlist is ASCII. I'm going to type it in the chat because I don't have my stream set up to show you. Oh my god, that's not actually playing that. In with the music. That's not what's playing. My bad. Well, it's currently <laughs> Will Savino Shelter at Last. <clears throat> now I'm probably going to get in trouble for this, so I'm going to have to change the music. I always do that. I did not put on Spotify to not play other things. It's like you put an album on, it plays the album, and then it says, you know what, I'm going to play you other things you might like. And I'm going to get you in trouble by YouTube. <laughs> uh, it's my fault. I should have made sure it wasn't going to do that. Anyway. Not to worry, guys. Not to worry. Should I try and speed this process up and use... Where is it? Use my brush marker. See, it's not a very good brush marker. This one, it is a Unipin fine line, and uh, it's a felt tip. It's it's not great, but it does speed things up a little bit. So I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and just use this because otherwise it'll just take me forever to do this. I've done the important bits, right, with my signature obsessiveness of lines. Sometimes you just gotta... Yeah, it's it's just not as neat and nice as what I would... as what I would like. But it's definitely quicker, right?
<laughs> Thank you very much, Diego, and welcome in. Thank you, Blue Green Yummy. Definitely faster to do hair with this. Um, hair is quite a lengthy process. If I'm going to do little intricate lines like this and shape them manually rather than uh, rather than the brush pen. Okay, so uh, you guys probably know this, but the brush pen you can do thin lines. And you can do thick lines with the pressure of your with your pressure. Um, with the fine liners, however, I tend to go over and shape, um, which I like doing, and. I zoom in here, you'll see what I'm saying. I kind of shape the line and leave some, some gaps here and there, and it just produces this, like, I don't know, a quality to it that... I don't know anybody else who really does this does it this way, but it's, a, it's something I enjoy. I can kind of get the same thing with this if I wanted to. My point is it just takes too long, you know. It's not it's not particularly an efficient way of drawing. We are really zoomed in, aren't we? Eden Sage, welcome in. Love your able essentials. I need more. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, Joshua Hardy, for the uninitiated, what are the Able Essentials? Uh, they're actually, yeah, they're brush sets uh, for Procreate. So, uh, digital brushes that I made uh, last year. There is a second brush pack that I made called Able Essentials 2. <laughs> Very unique naming by myself. A genius when it comes to names. I do I do enjoy adding some solid black, you know, it's very it's very satisfying, I have to admit. It's very satisfying. some details in this horn here. I don't mind this loose style of inking, actually. It, it kind of suits the watercolour, I suppose. Iron Fist says, What race is she elf, but with horns? Is she half elf, half demon, or maybe half beast? These are questions that I pose to you, my friends. What do you think she is? Because I don't really know what I'm doing. I just call her a fey creature. <laughs> I don't know. Is there a, a specific type of elf 
in uh, you know pop culture or anything that has horns with a certain name? Let me know. Joshua Hardy says, Oh need, I don't have an iPad, but would those be simple enough to download and convert to brushed for Photoshop? Uh, unfortunately, Procreate brushes are only for Procreate. That's just one of the downsides about them. Um, I think it's up to it's up to another program to program it into their program. <laughs> wow, words today, guys. I think you know what I mean. So Procreate does allow for importing other brushes, like Photoshop brushes. They've actually spent a hell of a lot of time coding and engineering so that Photoshop brushes can be imported into that program. Whereas I don't think any other program has spent the time to allow for Procreate brushes to be imported into there. So um, for now, that's just kind of the way it is. And, uh, yeah, I've, I don't have any um, knowledge on making brushes in any other program. And I just haven't had the time to, to figure it out. Or the desire, really. Um, you know, brush making for me is kind of a secondary, well, not even secondary. It's, it's, um... That's something I enjoyed, but it's not something I'm going to focus on immediately. Like, I'd rather be... I'd rather be drawing. <laughs> but it does have its place, and it's it's been really, really successful, actually. It's one of the... I'm so glad that I actually made that first brush set. Um, it's changed my outlook on different ways that an independent artist can make make some money and keep supporting themselves. It's been really, really good. Uh, so I will make more, but I want to make them when I, when I feel inspired to, and when I feel like I've got a good idea that needs to be made. So that's why the second brush pack just took like, I think there was a year between the first one and the second one. Uh, I'm not just going to make brush packs just, just to make money. Guys, I think she's I think she's coming out all right. Let's zoom out here a little bit. I'm actually kind of kind of happy with her now. Hmm. We did forget one thing, which was these little bits. Clothing here as well. Thank you, Ravel. Appreciate it. Um, Eden Sage, I got both sets because I love to support you and your art. Thank you, man. I, I appreciate it. I'll be buying Able Essentials 3. <laughs> awesome. I hope there will be an Able Essentials 3. Or maybe, maybe I'll think of a different name or a different idea. A more specific thing. Well, that's... Actually, this is why I really want to see what's what new features are in the Procreate Update 5.2 Because I don't exactly know it. I know a few things But I'm not sure if there's anything new for brush making and hopefully there is because that would be pretty exciting Could me get get me back into making new brushes again? All right, let's Add this a little bit nicer here Don't don't mess it up, Marty. Come on, don't mess this up. 
Very important. <laughs> Alright, I think that looks okay. I've left my lids off my things. And that's not a good idea. I also did do a bit of, um, there was a spiral on her face, which I might add back in with some paint. Uh, what colour should her eyes be, you guys? What do you reckon? some comments here because there's a few that I missed. Moon Bunny says, me who uses hard brush, soft brush, maybe a square brush too. <laughs> it's okay, like honestly whatever works, like it, it's not the brush that matters, it's how you use it. Joshua Hardy says, on the character's race the horns are very foresty so maybe like an elven druid or something. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Dakota says, they look cool with the grey Eden says it could be a rubber ducky stamp. You could take my monies. <laughs> you guys are funny. We want blue eyes as well. Hmm. Maybe a blue. Maybe like a blue green. Joshua, <laughs> I think I did that. Um, yeah, oh, that's the, what the other thing I was going to do is maybe an orange, but I think we will go for a pinky, ready orange for the. Um, let's zoom out here a bit. For the thing, for the spiral. Could be a disaster though. What am I doing? Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm gonna get some a brighter orange, maybe. Oh guys. It's a bit scary, isn't it? It's alright, it's alright, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Tribal, kind of dig that.
think I'm just going to add some purple in here. Some purple, red, burgundy. Actually, it needs to be way more purple. Way more purple than that, thank you. Yeah, I might have to go over the top of that in a minute. Questions. Welcome back, Dakota. <clears throat> Joshua Hardy says, "Looks really neat. I love your streams. I've been doing some watercolor on some of my Inktober stuff, but I'm having a really hard time keeping my work from bleeding and making a mess. Yeah, it's it's difficult. You just got to practice and practice with the mediums you've got. You know, different papers are going to give you different results. Um, yeah." Iron Fist says, wait, do you do all these beautiful random character designs and not get tempted to make them all your OCs? Look, some of them do, but most of them just, you know, get forgotten. I kind of repeat myself a little bit, draw the same kinds of things and whatnot, but... Um, Adam Fadula, welcome in, says, oh my god, last that I was here, I was still studying for my Ottoman history finals, wow, and writing up my BA Disso, and now I'm doing my... MA, glad to see the streams are around. Hope you're doing well, Abel. Thank you very much, Adam. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Thank you, Emma. Joshua says, I especially get nervous when adding more paint after the ink has gone in. Any tips or resources you would recommend on doing watercolor on an ink drawing? Um, I would practice, first of all, if you've got a new pen or whatever, or a new bit of paper, just practice and see how it works like for instance previously in the stream oops we went back here and I just wanted to see what the what the ink was going to do when I painted on top of it because some pens on some paper uh, the ink is just gonna blend with the water and that could actually happen right now with this if I if I don't wait for that ink to dry and then I jump in here with watercolor, it's gonna do that. And that is not what you want, right? So make sure your ink is dry, then try it out. If it still happens, uh, you just have to figure out what's causing it. Is it the paper? Is it the pen? It's most likely the, the ink pen that you're using or the type of ink. Um, so this says water and fade proof. It's interesting, isn't it? You just have to wait for it to dry. Let's get this purple back in here. There we go, that's a much nicer purple. I'm gonna add a little bit more um, pink, I think, in some of these sections. just to push some of the shadows back a little bit more.
Alright guys, I think we're almost finished this. Welcome back, Kriya. Uh, Eden says, I use alcohol-based ink markers that won't get reactivated without water. Hmm. Yeah, water resistant, definitely. Oh, Dakota, I'm sorry to hear that. You got bottom braces and they're causing you trouble. I've never had braces, so... I don't know what that's like, but I can imagine it wouldn't be very fun. <clears throat> Anna, she just needs a star. <laughs> if she does want to be a, a generic, able, random piece, she probably needs a star, doesn't she? That's probably true. I don't know if I should add one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the rest of this page is doing yet. I was going to have a series of heads here. You can see it. A vague outline. I was going to draw some goblins. Maybe we can draw some goblins. Uh, I'll probably have a little break first, though. Just for five minutes, and then I'll probably come in sketch some goblins that could be fun and get this page sort of sort of finished I do have some I do have some ink I might play with actually I got this from what was it called the art snacks loot box it is Higgins sepia ink perhaps we could try and play with that when I come back on these uh goblin dudes that I'm going to draw here. Draw? Did I say door? I'm going to door some goblins. <laughs> so yeah. But thanks for sticking around. I, I'm pretty happy with how this came out. I think her proportions of her actual face could be better. And like I said at the start, side profiles are a little bit of my weakness. Um, if I could put this into Procreate, I'd liquefy and I would just maybe push her face forward a bit more yeah it's just it's not sitting right for me anyway it, it's important to know to acknowledge your shortcomings but it's also good to finish things I you know I noticed it pretty early on um, in the painting process but I ignored it because I couldn't fix it so it's best to just finish things and acknowledge things and then the next time I go to draw a side profile, I'm going to put a little bit more effort in with my pencils and make sure it looks better. But I'm glad, I'm glad you all like it and I'm glad you have enjoyed the stream so far, hopefully. Maybe she does need a star. Okay, fine, she needs a star. She does. She's not just going to get one star, guys, she's going to get three. That's just how special she is. There we go. 
<laughs> Alright, let's zoom in there a little bit. Uh, Diego says, show some of the other arts. Do you mean the other stuff in this sketchbook? Iron Fist, uh, why you say underrated YouTube's algorithm is BS? Well, I don't know, man. It is what it is. I'm feeling, I feel pretty lucky to have the, the subscribers that I do on YouTube. And I'm not really very active anymore. Like, I haven't really been putting out videos. I've just been doing streams every Friday. So, you know, it's, it's about how much effort you put in to what you get back and at the moment I'm just doing streams on a Friday so um Joshua Hardy says excited to see more Summoner Wars stuff have you ever been on the Plat Hat podcast or any of the live streams that Plat Hat Games does no I haven't I didn't really know they did them I mean I, I've seen a few streams where they've played they've played Summoner Wars live I've watched those ones they're pretty cool oh actually no I have listened to the podcast I'm lying. I listened to it when they when they were announcing um, Summoner Wars, something like that. <laughs> I'd I'd love to. I'd probably be a bit nervous, but I'd love to do that. All right, guys, I'm gonna take a quick break for five minutes, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna draw some goblins. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mute the audio. And we're going to, for all the newcomers in here, we need to write a little note here. This is very professional, guys. <laughs> Be right back. Be right back. Okay. Five minutes see you guys soon and uh, anyone who's going to leave in the meantime thank you so much for joining the, the chat joining the stream and we'll see you next time see you guys in five
All right, I'm back. Thanks for your patience, everybody. It's such a beautiful day today. I wonder if I can show you outside. Let's take that off. Look at that. It's so pretty out there. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> it's so pretty outside today. my setup here. We lost some peeps. That's okay. I appreciate them popping in. You have coffee? I have um, juice of some sort. <clears throat> Which drawing? <laughs> what are you talking about? <clears throat> All right. We are going to draw some goblins, everybody. That is what we are going to do. This drawing, oh, thank you. Yeah, she came out all right, in the end. Oh, thank you, Sams, appreciate it. Valkyrie, welcome in. Abel, what type of sketchbook do you use with your watercolors? I really should w look this up because this, um, yeah, I need a fact. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, it's a travel log handbook. Global art materials. So look that up if you're interested in this one. A pumpkin girl. You know, I think we'll probably save that for a Halloween stream and that will probably let's just I just need to look at my calendar for a sec <clears throat> so Friday the 29th for me which will probably be Thursday the 28th for you we will do a Halloween themed stream I'm gonna look forward to that one um, yeah, we'll do some, like, goth girls and pumpkin girls or something. We'll do something cool. Uh, for now, we're going to draw some goblins. If I can find my pencil. There it is. Ooh, yeah, Halloween, draw this in your style. Yeah, that'd be cool. So we'll draw it on stream, and then... Whatever we do on stream, that'll be the draw this in your style. And then we'll post it on Instagram and everybody can can join in. That'd be cool. Great idea, Kriya. feel like drawing some some crazy goblin characters uh, and this is completely from memory so I don't really know what goblins look like but Should have like ear piercings, I think.
Um, I do have a Twitch channel. I don't have the link handy right now, and I think I will be moving to Twitch at some point. I would like to do that, I think. Um, yeah, probably. Get some crazy, crazy goblin eyebrows in here. Sam's, you're very um, insistent on your creepy pumpkin. I'm not sure if it will fit with today's theme of drawings. I can promise you there will be a creepy pumpkin for Halloween, though. You can take that to the bank. That's right, we were going to, we were going to do some ink, some inking with, turn that around the right way, with this uh, sepia ink. see if we can do that. So I don't really have anything clean to use here so I'm just going to use this. It's, it'll be fine. i pop a little bit of ink on the top there. Dewey Blacksky Black Steel. I thought this was mirroring from Twitch because the comment font on the video looks like Twitch's. <laughs> okay. Um, no, we're not on Twitch at the moment. Not at the moment. I really should have another palette to do this, but it's okay. We'll manage.
So alright, getting in the zone here. You know how it is. <clears throat> Halloween is my favorite time of year, says Sam's. Yeah. I wish we celebrated Halloween more in Australia, but unfortunately it's it's kind of not a thing. Not really anyway. A bit dark that was. Oh well. I should probably stop there because I'm gonna just ink over the top with the actual ink. So let's do that. You don't, you don't celebrate Halloween in Brazil. Yeah. I feel you, man. It's, uh, we don't celebrate it here much, really. Uh, where is my hairdryer? Oh, okay. Ink dries pretty quickly, so that's, that is pretty good. All right, let's. Zoom in here and uh, finish this guy off. You did miss the, the girl painting. Sorry, Sam's. Uh, you can always check back on the video replay once we're finished. Hopefully it stays there because we did have a bit of a mu music mishap today. This guy's completely nuts. As all goblins should be, right? Just 
a little bit crazy, you know? You don't know what he's going to do. He's unpredictable. I do kind of like getting my lines a little bit more shaky when I work in a messy kind of ink wash kind of style. There's uh, something a little bit, a little bit different about it that I kind of like. Sam's illustration says, what is your favorite color of hair for girl drawings? Oh, that, that's a hard question, man. I, I don't know. I, li I really like drawing blue-haired girls. Blue hair is just fun. Uh, thank you, Roberto. Alright, should we do more? Or should we leave it at that? What do you reckon? Well, we've probably got a bit more time. Let's try and draw some more goblins. This guy is, to be honest. Doesn't really look like a goblin, that guy, but anyway. Leo Wilbur, welcome in. Hi Marty, do you do art critiques? I'm a newish artist and I'm eager to get some feedback. Been following your channel and have never been live on a stream before. Well, first of all, thank you and I appreciate you popping in. 
Uh, I don't really do art critiques, honestly. Uh, yeah, it's just it's just not something that I'm really too interested in doing. Um, there there are artists out there that do do that, especially on their Patreon channel. So, uh, yeah, Korea probably knows some people who who does that. But you can definitely ask for feedback in the Discord channel. Um, yeah, it's something I'm probably need to think about if I should start offering some critiques and things like that. It's it's not something I've really dedicated my time to, but it's something I suppose I could if people really want me to. I mean, maybe I could make it part of my part of my Patreon rewards or something like a draw over uh, it, it just comes down to what I want to be spending my time doing I guess I don't know what that dude is. He's just a random big nose dude. We should probably finish him though, shouldn't we? Otherwise he's just gonna sit there, unfinished. Dakota, I appreciate that. I'm glad you get excited for the streams. <laughs> you want a shrunken goblin head. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Yeah, I kind of want one too. Getting a little bit scribbly here, but I don't mind. It's what sketchbooks are for, isn't it, really? I just don't use them for scribbling that much. Give him some inks. I really probably should uh, clean this damn thing. It's pretty messy. Yeah, that's right. Sketchbooks are meant to be wrecked. I'm just too precious with them, you know.
Alright, just let that dry for a minute. <clears throat> Samson's illustration says, where do you get inspiration and what artists do you look up to most of all? I think, Korea, we're definitely going to have to make a frequently asked questions um, thing that we can link in here. <laughs> because I'm always terrible at answering that question. It's a good question, but I'm definitely bad at answering the question when it comes to what artists I look up to, because my mind just goes blank. Um, I follow a lot of artists on Instagram, and for some reason there's no particular, like, uh, there's not, like, one or two that I look up to all the time. It's just a collection of, like, a whole bunch, like, hundreds of artists, so... Uh, I kind of wish there was just, like, one or two that I could say, hey, go check this person out, because this is the person that inspires me all the time. Uh, but it's not really like that. It hasn't been really like that for a long time. Um, but I suppose when I, what I can tell you, which I always say when I answer this question, is when I was growing up, J. Scott Campbell was, um, the artist that I looked up to the most. I found his work when I was about 12, and between the, between the ages of 12 and probably 20, he was, he was my jam, you know what I'm saying? Like, but uh, that was a long time ago. I am now 38 years old. <laughs> and I, I get my inspiration from all over the place. So there's not particularly like one or two artists. It's it's a whole bunch. It's a whole bunch. Could I name a few? Um, okay. There is Valentine Pash. Uh, don't know if I say her name correctly. Um, Valp, she goes by sometimes. V-A-L-P. I love her work. She's on Instagram. Go check her out. I really like the line work of Arthur Adams. Um, yeah, there's, there's just two out of the top of my brain. Maria Kielsen says, I think I know why I like that color you use so often. The one on the goblin heads. It reminds me of coffee. Aha. And that reminds me of mid-afternoon meals with the family at grandma's house. <laughs> You're yeah, very true, very true. Um, I did do, I think, a Discord stream with this a while back, and Korea mentioned that I should paint with coffee back then, I think. And we talked about it last, last stream as well. So apparently, you can paint with coffee. So I might give that a try one day. It'd be interesting. I, th I feel like it's probably gonna look just like this, isn't it, Korea? I mean, who, I guess who needs to buy this when you could just use coffee? But then again, coffee's probably just as expensive, so...
I like that. I, I really like that head shape, actually. Sometimes things just come out really nicely. And that is a head shape I enjoy. Maria Kilson says, good coffee can be really expensive. <laughs> That's true. I wouldn't use good coffee. Uh, I wouldn't know my country exports it. Art supplies is the one really expensive one here. I think I can't even find that ink that you're using here. Yeah, well, like I said before, um, the ink was sent to me in a Art Snacks loot box. So I don't believe I can buy it here either. Everybody wants me to draw girls, I think, but, um... <laughs> we'll do that another time. I think I just need to fill this with goblins, just to keep going with this. Uh, a female goblin? We haven't... I haven't done that. How am I going to draw a female goblin? with her um, with her male counterparts it seems fitting I'm gonna make it kind of ugly because goblins should be ugly whether male or female But she is going to have hair. It looks like a man. Shit, what am I doing? I don't like this at all. Completely erased. Sometimes, guys, that's just what happens. Maybe we'll come back to that section. Let's do this guy here. Let's get him done. Thank you, Tori. Thank you, Lilana. <laughs> Sorry, Joshua. I just erased, completely erased her. She's still kind of there. I could, I could bring her back. I could bring her back. I just didn't really like how she was looking. Use my brain. Use my brain and we can get this. It's it's tricky because I kinda I want it to look feminine, but I don't and I want it to be kind of ugly, but I don't want to look her to look manly. Does that make sense? I think it comes, it all comes down to um, the eyes, doesn't it? You know, she needs to be feminine. That's it.
something like that. <laughs> I really want to draw this guy because he's he's fun. Uh, Joshua Hardy says, Summoner Wars 1.0 was seriously lacking some female goblins. I'm counting on you to fix that. Ooh, well, there was there was a goblin clan. Goblin clan? What are they called? I can't even remember what they're called. I did draw a female goblin, at least one in the faction in Summoner Wars 2.0. Head shape a bit longer. Perhaps. I don't know. I'm going to move on. We're going to do this guy. session with drawing big crazy eyebrows <laughs> as an artist you just get on a kick of like doing something you know maybe I'm doing it too much but you know it works it works for characters like this make sure I retain this, this head shape, because it's the thing that I actually liked about this guy. Very, very square. Joshua Hardy says, but yeah, I really understand you draw beautiful feminine face so much. It must be a challenge to draw one that's not so easy on the eyes. It kind of is. <laughs> you, you get stuck drawing a certain way. It, it's a good challenge though. guys drunk Def 
definitely a drunk goblin. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is we're just going to colour this guy and then we're going to call it up. Um, and finish the stream off with that. Kriya says, did you ever consider to draw a while in a totally different style, Marty? Um, not, not super often, but back in the day I did experiment with a few different styles. <clears throat> um, yeah. I mean, sometimes I kind of go a bit more cartoony, like with this guy. I don't know, it just depends what I'm drawing, I think. I don't know, maybe it all looks the same style to you, I'm not sure. Um, Wemps says, are you close to finishing another sketchbook? I love those sketchbook tour vids. That's a good question. I don't think so though. I think I am... This is my current sketchbook, which I haven't really done anything in recently. Um, so I'm only, yeah, I'm only that way f far through this. I can give you a flip through. Yeah, there's not much in here. Uh, but now I'm working in this one, so... It's going well, actually. I'm, I'm pretty happy with these pages. I'd like to finish him, actually. Yeah, he does look way more cartoonish, doesn't he, Dakota? Alright, let's just finish him up, and we'll call it a night. But it's been a fun stream, guys. I really appreciate you sticking around and watching me get these done. Do I need more ink? I'm not sure. Dakota says, I'm going to throw my phone at the wall if it keeps correcting me. <laughs> it's all good. I'm, ter I'm terrible at typing on my phone. Um, Kriya says, do you have any drawing rituals like to get in the mood before working? Uh, hmm, I don't think I do, actually. Which I know is a very boring answer, but... coffee <laughs> you know I need to I need to have my coffee which I don't have right now um, music definitely helps most of the time sometimes you just just a bit of silence is is okay but usually I'll put on some some nice music like this kind of gets me in the zone Uh, 
um, yeah, just getting comfortable, getting focused and ready to draw something, I guess. There's not really anything too weird that I do. <laughs> Well, I guess that's that guy kind of done, right? He didn't take too long to finish. Hmm. I just feel like inking these for some reason. There we go guys. I'm sorry I didn't finish the last one. She's not really uh, she's not really exciting me. I probably should though, shouldn't I? Oh, what do you reckon guys? Should I finish that, that one? Or should I be a cheapskate? Let's finish it. This is the last one. <laughs> we'll see how quick we can do this. We're on 2 hours 40 minutes now, so if I give myself 10 minutes. 10 minutes and go. Let's go. Right, so I've got till 1.20 p.m. We're gonna bang this this out. We're gonna bang it out. Let's do it, let's just go straight with it. I wasn't really too excited about it, but that's a bit wet. Hair dry warning, guys. Okay, let's do it. We may as well finish it, you know, we've gone to all this effort to get the page done, so. Maybe goblins should have, like, fangs. I don't know. Didn't really think about what kind of teeth goblins should have. Okay. Now I'm liking her. Uh, Tori Cream says, I love your videos. Is there anything you find hard to draw? Yeah, definitely backgrounds. As you can tell, I'm mostly a, a character designer and character artist. So uh, it's not that I can't do backgrounds. It's just that I don't do them very often. So they're one thing that I find probably difficult. Like anything that I don't draw often is, is more difficult to me. So interiors, exteriors, buildings, um vehicles I do not draw them very often so that is something that can be a struggle um, I think I mentioned I answered this question last stream as well but the thing I probably struggle with the most is my my moods so getting in the mood to draw is probably the hardest thing for me. I know that's not exactly answering a question, but it's somewhat similar. 
Um, Abby says, if they had fangs, they'd be more like orcs. That's pretty true. Yeah, they'd be way more orky with fangs. Um, whereabouts are you, Dakota, if you don't mind me asking? 10.10pm, 10, 10 so that's like... You'd be in America somewhere, I think. Uh, I'm on time limit here. Oh, I'm doing pretty well though. It's only 13 past one, so I've got seven minutes to get this done. I think she really needs big earrings. Just like ridiculously big. A, that's a pretty rough rough sketch but it does the does the trick hey sort of I don't really like what her hair's doing there but you can't win ev win them all guys you can't win them all uh, gotta put the right lids on the right pens Whoop. there we go O2 O2 one. Oh, gosh. Jordan, welcome in. Yeah, you've missed all of this. <laughs> and I'm about to finish up. But you're going to watch me uh, ink, color her, and then we're going to head, head off. Um, Tori says, no, it's a wonderful answer. Your videos made me start drawing again and even uploading them on Instagram, so thank you. Well, that's that's like a huge compliment. I appreciate it. That's awesome. Um, yes, welcome in, Jordan. <laughs> you haven't missed everything. Just almost everything. Dakota says, I had an idea for a tavern, but I didn't know how to draw it, so I went to Minecraft. Oh, uh, yes. Sometimes I do stuff in Minecraft to help with perspective, then smooth it out for backgrounds. That's not dumb at all, no. No, no, no. Whatever helps, like... Um, yeah, reference is not a bad thing at all. Um, I would love to be able to find a game or something where you can build your own kind of like medieval buildings and things like that and use that as reference. That'd be that'd be fun. Kriya has finished work. Well done. Me too, almost. Alright, we're gonna turn that off, zoom in again. I don't know how far is too far. Maybe I want you to see what I'm doing here too, so. And we are using Higgins Sepia. Stream for another two hours. No 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 no. But there may there may be another stream tomorrow. A secret stream that I can't talk about just yet. But we will, we will see. I will let you guys know as soon as I know what's happening. That is too dark. The great thing is you can just uh, carefully pull it back off the page.
Uh, Maria says, every time I see people struggling to make female goblins, dwarves, etc., I remember that I can come up with my own idea of what feminine is for the species because they're not human. So kind of a cheat. Yeah, well, that's that's totally true. They, you know, they don't have to. Females don't always have to be pretty. I mean, it's just, it's a thing that we do. Um, and drawing ugly people is fun. Like, <laughs> there's so much more character in an ugly character. There's so many more expressions. There's just like this freedom where they don't have to look attractive. And that's what I love about drawing creatures like this. Um, Valkyrie says there's a mod for Minecraft called Chisels and Bits. Chisels and Bits, you'd love it. Hmm. Okay, what does the mod do? Tell me more, please. Good night, and thanks for stopping in. See you on the next stream. Uh, Valkyrie says, Chis chisels and bits, it allows you to create, uh, to break blocks down into 16 bits so you can make smaller objects. Oh, that's cool. So you can make more realistic buildings and such. That's awesome. a bit messy so I'm going to flick don't know if that really worked maybe I need this one <laughs> just making a mess here Alright guys, I think that is me finished for today. Thank you for subscribing, B-Boy Carnage. And yeah, let's zoom out a bit here. See the whole page. There we go. I might just give this a quick a quick hair dryer, hair dryer warning guys. something going on here.
welcome back, Joshua. Thank you. Um, yeah, so this is what we did today. Uh, not a bad, not a bad stream, if I do say so for myself. Um, yeah, again, a bunch of random stuff. I'm sorry it's always random, but I just didn't have time to organise anything for today. I had no idea what I was really going to do, so... Um, yeah, I think it turned out pretty fun. Yeah, let's get a little closer up to you, so you can see. Thank you again guys, I really appreciate you uh, hanging out with me today and drawing all things for almost three hours, so pretty good, pretty good stream. And yeah, I may have some news very soon, there might be another stream this weekend, but I will keep you all posted on that. Um, don't forget we have a Discord channel if you'd like to pop in and hang out with us every now and then. Um, yeah, yeah, that's it today, guys. Thank you so much. Enjoy your weekend. Love you all. And I will catch you next Friday for the next stream. Or maybe this weekend. We'll see. Love you guys. Bye.